I've always had a fascination towards monochrome looks because I feel like they look so pretty and classy. And also because Valentine's Day is coming up, I wanted to do something cute and nice. And I can't wait to show you how I got this look. For brows, I'm going to be using the Zaron Cosmetic Brow Bank to hold my brows in place. As always, letting it to dry before I go in with the brow pencil to fill in the brows. I tend to use a brow pencil with a color that's a bit darker than the brow hair to give it a much more fuller look. To clean underneath my brows, I'm going to use the OG LA Girl Concealer in the shade Toffee using an angle brush and blending it all out. For my eyelids, I'm going to be using the new Prime and Prop Eyeshadow Palette by Zara Cosmetics. Each palette comes with a primer and I'll be using three palettes to create the eye look for today. I'm starting by priming my eyes and then going in with the pink eyeshadow from the Peacock palette in my crease. With the Zara blending brush, I'm going to blend it all the way from the inner corner to the outer corner, leaving the center of my lids open. This pink eyeshadow appears very pigmented and is such a very pretty shade. Next, I'm going to be using the purple shade from the Sparrow palette to fill in the center. This eyeshadow appears similar to the pink eyeshadow from the Peacock palette. It wasn't what I was expecting. The color is super pigmented and very beautiful. Rather than using an eyeliner, today I decided to use a soft black eyeshadow from the same palette. Using an angle brush, I'm going to start with the lower lash line in the outer corner, pulling out a wing and joining it to my top lash line and then filling it in. Using an eyeshadow makes everything look softer and more delicate. I'm going to smoke that shadow towards the center of my upper lash using a defined brush that gives you a nice cut eye and do the same thing for my lower lash. It's time to add a delicate glitter right in the center of the lid. I'm going to be using the only glitter shade in the Pelican palette. This is a super sharp shadow. I'm just using a flat shadow brush to apply it. You can apply it with your fingers and then I'm going to be using it in the inner corner of my lower lash using a flat shadow brush. I love the formula of this glitter. You don't need an adhesive or a base and you can apply it dry and directly on your lid. I'm also going to extend the inner corner of my eye using Zarin HD liner and extending it to my waterline with a black eye pencil and to the inner corner at the top of my lash line. It's time to finish up, so I'm using my favorite mascara. This is Zarin Cosmetics 4-in-1 mascara. I absolutely love this mascara. It has a curved wand for the upper lash that gives you a really nice curl and a lift and a smaller one for the lower lash that helps applying the mascara easily to the bottom lashes. Although we have a halo eye, it doesn't look harsh, it still looks cute and nice. I'd love to hear your thoughts, so let me know in the comment section, will you try this look? To stick with the monochrome theme, I'm going to be using a really beautiful blush from Zaron. It's called the Rum Punch. It's a very pretty blush. And for a soft overall glow, I'm going to be using Zaron Bronze Palette Gold Rush. I love the formula of the gold shade. It's not chalky, it's really soft and it melts into the skin and gives you that beautiful glow. And on my lips, I'm going to line it with a clear lip liner pencil. And for the lip color, I'll be using Zaron Matte Lip Fix in the shade Shady to give a soft and neutral lip and to complement the entire eye look. And here is a complete look. It's almost like you get ready with me for Galentine's brunch day. This is exactly how I'm going to get dressed. What about you? Would you wear this look? Let me know in the comment section and if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, consider subscribing if you'd like to watch more videos like this. Alright, thank you for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye!